this is just a quick tutorial on how to create skin using a cloth simulator, specifically N cloth in Maya. So, what you want to do is create the arm mesh, then you want to uh, duplicate it and make one go inside the other and, the, and uh, edit the outside one so it's got a bingo wing in this case. Um, so what you want to do is make the out one, outside one the cloth. This is in um, the end dynamic section, by the way. And the inside, you want to make it into the collider. Now, there's no settings at all. You need to change. Um, so you want the collider to act as it's for the skin to sit on. So now you get new settings. The nucleus comes up and makes an end cloth and then rigid. Uh, the cloth is the outside skin and the ridges is the inside, which is the collider, what we want the skin to sit on. Um, so if we go into some options here, you just need to increase um, friction and stickiness so that uh, the cloth sits on top of the collider and doesn't slide through, and uh, the strength, and make sure it's all enabled and collide. Um, the settings actually play off of each other when it comes to friction and stickiness. So if you edit one, you should really edit the other because, you know, if one's got one and the other one's got one, then the total is two. They play off of each other like that. Okay. So make sure that's all up and just make sure that it's sat there properly and we should be ready to go. So if I play this really quickly, the way it's not supposed to be shown, you'll actually see that it falls through and well that's because um, it's trying to catch up on itself um, that's how it would look if you didn't have the collider or didn't have the right settings so if I play it normally now here is what it looks like well there you go oh um, now I'd like to show you quickly this is the end cloth version and this is the hand animated version. What do you think is better?